This is Dr. Scott Geller, ophthalmology in Fort Myers, Florida. My niche in ophthalmology is eye floater laser. I've been doing this for quite a long time, over 25 years. I think I have at least 20,000 laser sessions under my belt. And I would like to describe a very, very interesting case. This patient that you're looking at here was probably, I believe, around 80 years old. He had cataract surgery with an unsuccessful result. He came to me with this presentation. His visual acuity was not even 2400. Uh, we did a B-scan ultrasound. His retina was intact. And when he was dilated, it looked like a cyclitic membrane or so, but it was peppered with asteroids. So the question was, what did his retina look like? We could not see the retina on visual in inspection, but B-scan ultrasound showed us it was intact. Well, the strategy was to use the Lazog Swiss-made Microruptor 2 laser, which has a burst mode of zero to nine shots. Uh, in this case, we're using about five millijoules per pulse in a five shot burst. The contact glass being used is a CGV lens. The CGV lens is made by Lazog. I think Hogstride has picked that up now. And what my strategy is for this almost cyclitic membrane is to cut a window in it. Uh, this video is a little speeded up. This case took at least four sessions. And I guess the question for many doctors would be, well, why can't he have a vitrectomy? He couldn't have a vitrectomy. He had cardiac issues. Uh, he was on anticoagulants. His vision in the opposite eye was not that perfect, and he wanted to see better. So laser was the way to go here. Well, you can see what I'm doing here with the CGV contact glass is cutting a little window, and there we go. Uh, We've sped this up. This was well over four laser sessions, and I've cut a window there, and I can see the red reflex of the retina. So lo and behold, we got that cyclitic membrane with the asteroids separated, and behind it were vitreous veils, another membrane uh, obscuring the view of the retina. And that's quite dense, actually. So the strategy is the same. Uh, it's cutting a window in there. And as you can see, when I cut here, nothing is vaporized. I think that's sort of misinformation. Uh, the LX Corporation says their laser vaporizes, but I've used it and I can tell you it's just dissipating uh, the opacities or pulverizing them. And in this case, it's just splitting a membrane. So nothing's vaporized here. There's no evidence for that whatsoever. So this was, this was several sessions. This patient took, uh, I think, four or five sessions to really, really get it. And the reason you have to uh, break the sessions up, once you start getting into higher powers and higher uh, pulses, number of pulses, you know, four or 500, you run the risk of elevated pressure in the eye. And that is the main complication that you can run into with certain kinds of floaters. Not all floaters, but certain kinds of floaters and power settings. Uh, I did this gingerly because we didn't want to get into that. I'm using the CGV contact glass here. And you can see the window is opening. Well, we're not going to try to get everything out of here. We can't do that. It's impossible. But the window is opening. We're getting towards retina. There we go. A little more. And it's a gradual process. It does take a lot of time to do this. Uh, this certainly will not be a money maker for ophthalmologists. Uh, you do better with cataract surgery, I think, but I enjoy doing this. Uh, it's, it gives me great pleasure to help people that can't be helped otherwise. 
And I actually said to this patient, I really wanted to do his, his floater or his opacity. I said, if, if I can't get it better, you don't have to pay me. And that's a pretty good offer. He went for it. And his visual acuity, which was light perception, hand motion, was 2040 after I performed laser. His retina was intact. His macula had some dry macular degeneration, but it was certainly not very serious. And this was a very, very happy patient. And a happy doctor, too. I, I love doing this kind of stuff. It's really the most fun in ophthalmology. Uh, you really have to dedicate yourself to understanding it. It's not boilerplate surgery like cataract. And you have to plan a little strategy. And, and every patient's a little bit different. And you have to tell the patient what the outcome is possibly going to be for them so they're not disappointed. Like I said, not, there's the retina. There we go. You can see the vessels there. Uh, I have the B-scan in the chart. I, I don't have it in this video. That would be interesting to show you. But the key to doing this, like I said, is to understand the contact glasses that you have to use, understand what your laser is going to do vis-a-vis -vis the potential for elevated pressure. And there we go. Happy patient, happy doctor. This is Dr. Scott Geller signing off iFloater Laser.